Hey guys, Darren here with Primal Panic. I thought I'd give another update where we're at. Uh, we got a lot of this cleaned up and uh, we built the decontamination chamber that the military's gonna use to, you know, decontaminate all the guests that show up because we don't want any uh, foreign pathogens inside the hospital. But the entrance to the hospital's here and I've got the flickering lights going. I got my hospital signs up. And we turn the first hallway and we've got the first asylum door there. And this room in here is where two haunters will stay, one at the door and one at the drop panel over here. You can't really see it in the light. And then the second hallway and as we turn, we come to the first hospital room. And I made the hospital bed out of one inch PVC, melted it, bent it, real easy. And as we continue on to the hospital, I've got our walker out and he's, uh, he's got no legs. And we turn down this hallway, and I've got two more asylum doors here. And I'll have, of course, someone in here. And I'm not done running the lights up here. But of course, this room at the end of this hallway is the morgue. I've got some city morgue bags there. And I'll have a tablecloth on here. One of the actors will be on that table. And then as we continue on, I've got the control panel room. And then you come outside to the toxic waste dump, nuclear waste dump, whatever. And as we turn around, I've got the falling boxes prop there, which you need to touch up. And then I've got my monster in the box. None of this is all hooked up yet on this side. And we continue on, we got the boiler room. And then we've got the pipe hallway. And I'll have sound in all these rooms. And at the end of the pipe hallway, we've got the electrical panels. And then we enter into the haunted mansion. This is the access. To that room that has... The Tony. The, uh, yeah, there's Tony. That has the other side of the asylum door and the drop panel in there. I was wondering how that happened. That's a good scare, it's loud too. So then in this hallway, we begin the haunted mansion and I've got the organ at the end of the hall and a new addition, our little man-eating plant friend. And the hallway turns it will come down this way. I'll have the haunted bookcase at the end of this hallway. And I'm gonna put curtains on the outside of these two windows, which is actually a house. And I'm gonna try to make this part of the house look like the inside of a room. I don't know how well it's gonna work. But, <coughs> over this table right here, which will be a seance table in the haunted mansion, I've got the floating candelabra. That should work okay. And with the floating candelabra, all I did was I made a 
FCG and I'll figure out some way to, to disguise that or hide it but I only used two strings instead of three because it's so light and it's so small I think it works okay that'll look good battery operated we can turn that on it'll just sit there and flicker and hover and then this will be the the final room of the haunted mansion we've got the fireplace up against the wall there and all these boxes are in my way this is this is the final place where we have to work so I've got everything set up in this last room and then the exit right here so tell me what you think subscribe below leave comments thanks